Yeah, so I'm actually really excited today because if we didn't have enough reason already to play this game with things like the leaderboard where some people can actually win large amounts of cash as you can see here the prize bonus for my league this week which is just a randomly people are all randomly put into a league and it changes weekly at the end of the week top three win prize bonuses if you have a friends list they also do this for your friends list and the prizes can increase for the uh, Well, the, I guess the I guess like the quality of the pool of players in that friends list. Anyway, um, but then it gets even bigger. So we increase the prize pool to country, and the prizes obviously are much larger than in just the random league. And then in the world for singles, the bonus is 1,500 this week for first place. But I am currently standing at 150,573th in the world, so I won't be winning anything there. But the club leagues is where I'm currently doing the best. Just with us, we have a new member of the World Doctor Society. His name is Dr. Balshandra, so if you check in here, see Dr. Balshandra and know who that is. If you don't know who that is, well, this is Dr. Balshandra right here. He's from India. He's using the Raven Q, but he's actually not a bad player. So he is now a member of the World Doctor Society, and Dr. Balshandra and I are currently killing it this week. We're ranked number four in the world in our club, the randomly selected club league. But the top prize is only $1.25 million. Nothing to slough at, but it's not cash either. So for the country, we're 336. The prize is 1300 for top. And then in the world, for Club League, the top prize is 16000 cash. Holy man. I couldn't imagine. So... If they did make enough incentive already, plus giving cash for level up, they've now added a trophy system called Trophy Road for playing one-on-one -on -one matches. And each one-on-one -on -one match you win, you increase your prize pool. I haven't collected any of it yet. They gave me back prizes for winning over 1,200 trophies so far, all the way up to a Venice Champion Box times 2 they're also including things like Golden Shots, my favorite, my personal favorite, the Solar System Q, a good head start on that, three pieces, three Diamond Q pieces, which is a very good expert Q. The Posh Q I'm not too excited about, um, well not Q, but you know they do have some pretty good prizes in here, cash and you know, it just get champion boxes. It gives more incentive to play, really, is all it, it does. So, but what I will be doing here, I'll be collecting my prizes today that I've already won. So, they've added in Champion Road, and I'm going to start marching down it if I haven't. If I've already, unbeknownst to me, already been marching down Champion Road. I've been wanting some rares, so I'm pretty happy with the rare box. I'm excited about the four cash. I'm not sure what. Oh, you unlock Berlin Platz. Okay. I've unlocked three pieces of the Sapphire Q. Oh, see. The Toronto Champion box, which they're gonna allow me to open right now.
As you all know, champion boxes are not really my favorite. Henceforth, you see why right there. The proof is in the pudding. They're usually not really that good, I find. There's not really anything in them. A golden shot, my personal favorite. Scratchers, I just won $500,000 on a scratcher last week that I got for free, so I'm pretty happy with that. More posh queue. I'm not excited about the posh queue. Free spins. They're gonna just load you up with free spins. Here's another champion box from Jakarta. They're gonna give me seven posh queue pieces in that one. So, still not really hitting the spot with those champion boxes. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what the point of the champion box is, per se, but... I think it's just for, like, advanced players. Like, players that are just starting out. I already have a max modern queue, so they'll just give me five points for that. More free spins. A Toronto champion box, okay. So they're making sure that we're loaded up on all the basic cues. <laughs> what do you do? Everybody gets so excited about that. You get to max out your traditional queue if that's if that's on your to-do list. <laughs> you now get to max out your traditional queue. And a free lucky shot. So with that, I will collect my 150 and I will go over to the mini games and I will first do the lucky shot which is not supposed to be refreshed yet and I will try to exact five cash with my newly acquired crown jewel queue yeah I ended up winning a couple rounds of that. Didn't spend much either. I think I didn't spend much more than 50 to win three rounds of that. So I was pretty happy with that. Now, as you all know, I don't really have any idea what to do with that queue, but I do know what to do with the Atlantis queue. And it's just a half-mast shot. Oh, that's probably too much. <sighs> it's... Probably even just a quarter. Oh no, and there goes my lucky shot. Well, you know, hooey for you. I don't know what that. Oh, and it's gonna be three champion boxes and 60 cash. I really don't know what the hype is. Let's check in and see what the hype is behind champion boxes, man. Like, what? Why would they give you four legendary boxes and only three champion boxes? Is that, Do they have the king and the queen in the champion boxes? Is that what it is? Oh, and there, I just riffed it. You know, way, way too hard. I was pretty sure it was a quarter. like there okay so it's sort of yeah I don't know how to explain this one this is an awkward shot but I really want to see what the hype is behind these champion boxes let's see what all of the talk of the town is Just want to get three, crack them, and just to see here. Why are they so rare? Why are they so? Why are they such a hot commodity? When you, you're not getting, I've never gotten anything out of a champion box. 
I think you can get expert cues out of them if I'm not mistaken, which probably would include things like the galaxy cue. And the black hole cue. But those are more rarities with these things. As you can see there in my first box, I just got cards that I already have. So let's see here what the next one brings. There's an upgrade for my binder queue. It's one of my favorite looking advanced queues. Okay, that's, that's I'll take that. I've been in an upgrade for it. That's what I've been trying to get now for quite some time, the IQ. Yeah, so there's an opening of very decent expert Q, which is along the lines of the Phoenix Q. It's just a step under it. It's pretty good. I would say it's probably just underneath. Yeah, one step below the Phoenix Q. It's a really good Q, the Winter Q. It's, uh, it's not so pretty. If you look at it, it's kind of basic looking, but... Oh, and there! Wow, would you look at that? One piece for the Solar System Q. And with three pieces coming up, guaranteed, when I get to that goal, that is definitely incentive to continue playing this game, because now I'm going to get a free Solar System Q without having to do anything extra. And as you can see there, it is one of the coolest looking cues in this game. So yeah, I guess champion boxes do have some validity to them, but as you've seen in the first box, sometimes they're a complete bust. So I don't know, it's hit or miss because you're gonna get maybe one or two good cue pieces in the whole three boxes, but they're good pieces, so maybe they are worth it, you know? Maybe I was mistaken in my initial, in my initial uh, findings. Okay, so we get no board refresh off this. I do have one shot left. I'm very satisfied with that pull for cues. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. I unlocked two Qs, an Expert Winner Q, an IQ, and got a piece for the Solar System Q. So that's very good. Plus 60 cash. Plus it refreshes in four hours. Plus I have a rare box that I'm going to open right now. Plus I still have a boatload of cash and I'm going to open up more. There's one more piece for my bear cue. Uh, let's see here. See if I've won anything amazing. 7.5k. Okay. 500k. Almost. And I don't want to play this again. I really don't want to play this again. I don't want to do my spinners right now. Sometimes they, I seem, I seem, it seems like they sometimes give you better spin to wins in certain moments. And they're not opening up my spins right now. Oh, I have golden spins. Is that what it is? They give you all golden spins. I can't believe that. Oh, they just give you one golden spin. Okay. That would have come as a major shock to me if those were all gold. I would have been like, wow. That's unbelievable. Epic box? No. That's my next stop, Epic Boxes. Like I need any more cues, but I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get all of them. Yeah, sometimes I, I found like, one time I got a golden spin and it gave me three legendary boxes. And that was off of one of those like free, it was off of my season's pass, my pool pass.
and they're just just one away from 25k. A couple off of a legendary box. Hoping to pop a nice one here with the three spins that I have remaining. But if I don't, that's fine, because I, I mean, I've already unlocked. I'm very happy. I've already unlocked the winner queue. I've got 60 cash. I still have one spin. I still have one golden shot left. I whiffed on one. That was, for me, that was a very difficult golden shot. Uh, just a, a very tough one. And the next, so I will be going for, I will now be going for champion boxes because I do know that they are viable. Those are the only places where you're going to crack stuff like the galaxy queue and the solar system queue and the black hole queue and stuff like that. So I will definitely be attempting for those in the upcoming days. I do have more prizes to collect. Is that it? Looks like that's it. So with my remaining 363 cash, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in hard here. Do a more do another box opening here. As you know, I'm still trying to get some quality few sticks complete my collection. I am not opening up legendaries. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I already have 19 of the 20 available queues that are legendary, and the Archangel queue seems to elude me every time. So I'm not going to waste my time on that anymore. I'm just going to let it go, and it will come naturally to me in God's time. And there we go! That's one of the ones that I was hoping to unlock. This currently is my best epic queue, and a very formidable queue, even at a 500k game, the Moonstone queue. And let's take a peek at this baby. Just a wonderful looking piece of art. 130% free XP, free reloads, 8 force. 6 aim, 7 spin, 5 time, the Moonstone Q is a tier 1 epic Q. For sure, at level 1. Very happy with that. Plus I got a spin, plus I got a scratcher. There's an upgrade for my very good, very fun, and cool looking Trident Q. Very pleased about that. Very excited about that. Another piece for the Trident Q. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'll just get more Epic Boxes because that's what my path is right now is to open up more epics. I only have 13, there's 25. I need to catch them all. There's more pieces for my tarantula queue. A very viable queue and no guidelines. I've slayed and prayed with it before. Many a time. First upgrade for my Frostbite Q, okay. That's so mundane, but so great at the same time. Let's open up the last box and see what it is. I'm hoping it's a new one. I don't like opening up upgrades when I'm trying to open up new queues. I'll take upgrades for the Moon's Down Q, though. Oh my god, that thing is a beast, man. And it was so hard for me to get. I think I ended up opening 70 or 80 of those boxes before cracking the Moonstone queue. Okay, the Invader queue seems to be a very common epic queue to open up. I won't spend any more time on that, you already know what that is. I opened it up in a previous video. 
there's a very, very good Sparta Q piece. Again, similar to the Phoenix Q. Not too shabby, as my stepfather used to say. Okay, we've unlocked nothing in this box, and I still have 231 cash left. I've hit the secret stash where they're going to offer me 1386 to 4080. Okay, they're going to offer me another deal, <laughs> and I'm going to decline again. And I'm going to go get more boxes because I still have 231 cash left. And I still only have 13 epic queues, so let's go. Let's get rolling. I'm not, I'm not going to waste comments on queues that I already have anymore. Queues that I've already touched on in this video. Jaguar Q. I was using the Aztec Q the other day. It's actually very similar to the Jaguar Q. It's a pretty good Q. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not bad. I assume the Jaguar Q will do its service very well for the lower level tier games. I don't think I'm going to open up any more boxes. It doesn't seem like a good time to be opening up boxes at this time. Just after this opening. Yeah, just getting a lot of repeats right now. The Trident Q is one off from getting two upgrades in the same video. Which I'm actually not unhappy about, to be quite honest with you. Because I... There's the Jade Relic Q. Beautiful beautiful cue that I cannot wait to play with. Uh, I'm gonna get more. I want to see if I can get that Jade Relic cue. If it's just a, if it's just a flash in the pan or if it's my time. Is it my time for the Jade Relic cue? The Scorpion cue says no. Is it my time now? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> no, we're not there yet. <laughs> okay, well, I have one more chance here before I lose interest in box openings for today. I need something that I do not have. It's my time. It's my time to Jade Relic you. Look at that greasy looking bastard. What a nice cue that is. Six of everything is the most balanced cue in the game at level one. It's in perfect harmony and it's a relic. You can't beat that. Now I will stop there and I will just do a spin opening video. I'll just do a bunch of spinners one day. But for now, I'm going to check in with my newly acquired cues. The Moonstone cue, which is obviously my best type of cue. I'm going to use that right now. I'm going to take that into a game, then I'm going to use the Jade Relic Q, and I'm going to upgrade the Trident Q. It now has 8 Force, 7 Aim, 3 Spin, and 6 Time. That is a very good Q. You should not be fooled by the fact that it's an Epic Q. And the Frostbite Q is now even better as well, getting one more Force. It has 8 Force and 7 time, so that cue is disgusting. 
this Q is going to get one more force and one more aim, the Jaguar Q, which is a very nice looking Q at level 2. The IQ, I've already acquired it, and it's now getting an upgrade. The Winter Q, which I could use also, Deputy Q is getting an upgrade. You get XP for upgrading your shit, so I would recommend, even if you're not going to use the Q right away, if you can afford it, you know, 30,000, 40,000, upgrade it. Look at this, look at me. The max level Zebra Q. I'll get 1540 XP for just for doing that, so it's definitely worth it. The Winter Q, wow, I was so tempted to just, oh, it's only 80k to recharge? Only 80k to recharge, okay, so you're definitely only using that in Toronto or higher. Oh man, that's, that's why I don't recommend those Qs, unless you're playing at the higher limits. <laughs> You know, this can be used even at a basic game. That's why getting the collection cues is such an asset. Plus they look better. Generally speaking, they do look better than most of the expert cues that I've seen. Most of I would see most of them. And that's why I can't got can't stress that enough. And I was just killing it in nine ball last night. And as you've seen in the previous video, I'm striking force in the nine ball right now, so I'm gonna see if I can continue that pattern, or if it was just a facade right now. Playing against Kaser with my brand new, unbelievable looking, you know, this even tops some legendary cues. The Moonstone cue, the Clefairy cue, the Pokemon Q, call it whatever you want, man. Just don't call it a bad Q, because it's not any of that. Now, I do know of a, of a, of a way to kind of enable a very, very good cranking here, where you sometimes can get golden breaks right, like, off the bat. So, but... That was very close, but no cigar. But I've been left with a very good follow-up shot here. With my newly acquired Moonstone Q. Not very good time on it, but even still at four extra time, it's still giving me four extra seconds to shoot that shot, so it's better than the Phoenix Q in that department. With a very difficult cut here. This is going to be awkward. And I'm going to put forward spin and try and hit that four ball to come up. Or just do that. That's perfect. That would give me a nice strike on the three ball. It's a very good ball control there. And then just kind of like, just, I guess. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it there. Leave it there, I guess, or just kinda pop it back a little bit. Doesn't really matter at this point. It's just home sailing. As long as I can avoid scratching, that's really all I care about right now. And hopefully not getting blocked out by anything. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Okay, I was wrong. I'm not okay. I have to do a little bit of gambling here. That does not pan out for me. However, if the ball does stop... No, it does not stop. I was left him with a very difficult shot here to avoid scratching. He's going to have to work his magic with his spin. It does do that. Just got a, a very easy shot on the six ball. And making it a little more harder on himself by putting it in the long pocket. But I think my opponent is very capable here at level 128 of just assaulting me with my, with my mistake that I made on that five ball. 
Ball positioning is very important in nine ball and I failed to realize that this time. And I don't get any payback on this game. So. But. Not a bad haul for today's video. I acquired the winner queue, which is going to be 80k to recharge per game. I don't care about that. Got the new trophy system. We have Dr. Balchandra, now part of the team, part of the squad. Acquired the IQ, acquired the Jade Relic Q, acquired the Moonstone Q, and still have 100 cash left over, still have 15 spinners, still have one golden shot, still have four scratch cards, eight scratch cards, and 35 million in the ticker. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment, and I'm getting out here for now. Here under the store tab on the Kingpin TV channel on YouTube. There's a bunch of gear, new gear created by me, Kingpin. And we can even click over to view on Teespring and it'll take us right to the official Teespring website where the entire store, Kingpin's Tea House, is located. Where all of my merch can be looked at and purchased. Hey man, I uh, really liked your video.